square of side 19 cm. So you tell me the square, again put in symbols, equal lines. Okay? So all the 19, 19. Besides the side of the square, it's 19. What else does the 19 represent? The diameter of the semicircle and don't know really. Uh. Obvious is the semicircle. Uh. Okay, long am I? Wait. Uh. A quadrant and a semicircle are drawn inside the square. You see, uh, when they tell me there's a quadrant and there's a semicircle, <coughs> the obvious one that you can see is the semicircle, right? The then where is the quadrant? The, the, the. You can see there's a little bit, a little bit here, right? So the quadrant is actually you must go and find. I said before, anything that is given to you, try and go and find. Okay, it's somewhere around here if I draw it lah. Okay, I know it's not very nicely drawn. Okay, it's just to show you. Okay, the quadrant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a nice reaction. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Quadrant. Okay. So this quadrant now that you see, what does the nineteen represent? The radius, okay. So this 19, besides the side of the square, is actually the diameter of the semicircle and also the radius of the quadrant. Alright, so please take note. Okay? That's why I always say that. I always say that if you actually see all this that is given, right, go and find the shape. Okay? And one thing I can tell you is. For circles question, right? If they tell you there's a semicircle, they tell you there's a quadrant and all this, okay? Even if you don't know how to do the whole question, right? Write out the formula thing and try to get the answer. Even if you don't know how to do the whole thing, right? If you write out the, the steps to find the area of the semicircle or the quadrant that is involved, most probably you'll still be able to get method mark. You all need to understand something. If you just leave the whole question like it's zero right away. But whatever that is stated there, they tell you it's a quadrant, they tell you it's a semicircle, at least you write the thing out even if you don't know how to do the whole question. You are trying to earn method marks. And that is better than the big fat eight that you get, right? Understand what I'm saying or not? Okay? Take note, huh? okay? So, next, they want you to find the area of the shaded part using the calculator pie. And remember to leave your answer to the nearest two decimal places. Okay, for this question, okay, I will only round off at the last step. At the last step. When I'm doing it right, okay, I will not round off anything. So I will leave the calculator pi so called pi algebra. as algebraic pi. Alright? Okay? So first of all, understand this shaded part that you are trying to find. Actually, with the line drawn right, I make it obvious in a way. Okay, this uh, this quadrant here. If I take away the semicircle, I will get this part of the shaded, right? Okay, and then the whole square. If I minus away this whole quadrant, I will get this part, right? And this part, right? Is actually two equal parts. Why can I say that it's two equal parts? Why? Because it's you cut don't assume it's okay. cut into two. It's cut into two. Why, why is it cut into two? You look at this BD, this line, right? BD, this line, is what we call the diagonal of a square. When we have a diagonal within a square, it cuts everything equally into two. And diagonal means that from one corner, the line is drawn to the opposite corner. Okay? The diagonally opposite, line, okay? not this opposite or that opposite. So when it is drawn to this opposite here, okay, these two is actually equal. Understand? So it becomes easy now to find this part, quadrant minus semicircle, to find this part, okay, square minus quadrant, divide by 2, 2. Okay? So we start off with the square lah. Alright? So square, 19 times 19. You get 361. In your calculator, right, there's a little button that is directly for square. It's that X2 thing that you're seeing. Mm. If you press 19 and press the little X2 button, you can get the answer immediately. Alright, then you don't need really key 19 times 19. Okay? 
need to the power of eight. It's quite likely to the power of two, la, but usually we don't teach that way because those you learn you will learn in secondary school those way la, okay. We will still try to stick to the primary school of two, okay, especially for you. Okay. I will explain to you later when you take that okay. Okay? It's for your own good la. I'm not penalizing you, but it's really for your own good, okay? So square, then I say I want to find the quadrant, right? So to get the quadrant. Okay, quadrant, what's the fraction? One quarter. Remember I said before, alright, whatever fraction that you need for the circle, put it in front, then put the formula behind. And the formula here we are looking at is area, right? So what's the area formula? Pi r squared. Pi r squared. Pi times r times r. So pi, okay, the r, it's for the quadrant, right? So I can put in 19 times 19. What exactly do you do for this, right? In your calculator, okay. you just ignore this. You only key in 1 quarter times 19 times 19. Or 1 quarter times the 361 because the 1919 is there. Okay? So 1 quarter times the 361, you will get 90.25. But remember, put back the pi. Okay? So you get this for the quadrant. Then, now I said minus. So two part of this, all right. Three six one minus ninety point two five pi. Three six one the square minus the quadrant. I will get two of this. Okay. Then if I bracket this and put divide by two, I will get one of it. For this one, right, don't try and attempt to do funny little things if you don't quite understand. Okay, really don't try. Not, okay. So what we'll do is we'll just apply the algebraic thing. Put this whole thing as the numerator, then the 2 as the denominator. So at the last step or whatever, then you just press the whole thing inside your calculator. Okay, but press the whole thing better, remember to press exactly as how you are, you are going to write it in terms of the algebra way, okay? So 361 minus 90.25 pi out of 2. When you key into the calculator at the last step, you key in like this. Okay, like this, the fractional way. If you think that it's uh, very difficult, like that, then better remember you key in the minus part first, get the answer, then you press the divide by 2. Okay, that is another way. So we actually get this one already. Okay, so now is to find the semicircle. circle. But if you remember, the 19 is the diameter. But formula for area is always pi times r times r right pi r squared. So I need the radius of the semicircle. Radius of the semicircle is 8. 8? You swear or not? 9, 9. 9, you swear or not? 8. 8? I thought just now you, when I asked about radius, you tell me what's the meaning of radius? 9.5. You tell me it's half of the diameter, right? Like, half of the diameter or diameter divided by 2, right? Diameter divided by 2. Allah, I see the love. Okay. This is what we say sometimes. <laughs> Better just use the calculator to do the job. Okay? You do it yourself. You make careless mistake here. It's point, 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 bye bye to your marks every day. Okay? So, even for simple things like this, not very sure. Better don't. X not la. just use calculator. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we go and find the semi. For the semi fraction, it's half times pi times the r r that we have there. Answer for this forty five point one two five pi. Again. Just key in half times 9.5 times 9.5. You will get the 45.125 and put back the pi. Okay? Okay. Then it will be the quadrant minus the semicircle. Okay, quadrant is above 90.25 pi minus this 45.125 pi. Alright, you will come back to 45.125 pi. Okay, so take note, our one of the shaded part is this, the other of the shaded part is this. Now you just need to add the two of them together. Alright? So 
361 minus 90.25 pi out of 2 the whole thing out of 2 plus 45.125 pi alright so if you key this whole thing into the calculator actually you will just get this uh, 180.5 uh, can you leave your answer at 180.5? No. no, it's two decimal place, correct. So if it's two decimal place, this blank here, you better put in zero. the zero. 180.50. And because it's area, cm squared. You put cm, measurement unit is wrong, we can penalize. You don't put the zero, we also can penalize. You all need to understand. When you need to put the zero, when you don't need to put the zero. And in this case, you need it because they ask for two decimal places. So you better take note, under the decimal part, there are two digits over there. Okay?